in this video, uh, we're going to talk about trees. And this is a, a subject of vertex edge graphs. And then we're going to talk about Hamiltonian circuits. And um, we're not going to get too in-depth uh, onto these topics, just far enough really to deal with uh, the Praxis 2 exam, right? What we're looking at is the Praxis 2, the 0061 exam. And maybe in future videos, we'll, we'll really dive into graph theory and have fun with it because this stuff is interesting. So a tree, what is it? Well, we've got we to step back a little bit and get some background. Um, first, we have to define a circuit. Now, a circuit, uh, the idea is that you're on a vertex edge graph, and you start at a, at a vertex, you go on a path, and you come back to the same vertex. You complete the circuit. So actually, let me, let me just even go back. What's a vertex edge graph? Right? What is that? Well, a vertex edge graph is just some type of graph that has vertices right, or dots and edges, edges or lines. So let me build this one right here, right? This is a vertex edge graph. And it can look like anything, really. Uh, a circuit would just be, well, here's my vertex edge, and then an ed uh, edge and vertex, and then, I don't know, just going along. Now the circuit would be, oh wait, let me just, okay. Now, now on, on this vertex edge graph, we can have a circuit, right? So let's say I start here, and I want to go along and travel this way, and I end up back at the same point. That's my circuit. Now, now there's different types of circuits, right? Um, we have, I guess, in general, a circuit, but then a simple circuit is when you can start and end at the same vertex, right? A simple circuit means you can start and end at the same vertex without repeating an edge. So it's a circuit, just like this above. And in fact, I think this, the one I showed you here, is a simple circuit, that, that path we took, in which no edge is repeated. So when we look at these graphs, right, you would say um, this, this circuit I took here is a simple circuit. But what if I started here at, at, at this vertex? What if I what if I started here, this vertex? Well, I go along, right? I'm traveling. Now to get back at that vertex, I've got to cross this edge twice. And that means that that, that circuit is not a simple circuit. Um, so so what do you do in this in a path like this where there's a simple circuit here in red, and then in yellow there's a non-simple circuit? Well, that's a vertex edge graph, right? But on this on a test, often they seem to ask about trees. And what's what is a tree? Well, a tree is a vertex edge graph. A tree. What is it? Let me write this down. It is a vertex edge. I'm going to abbreviate that graph with absolutely no simple circuits. So any way you look at it, you can't find a simple circuit. So if there is at least one simple circuit in your vertex edge graph, then it's not a tree. And, and they would just say, which of the following vertex edge graphs is a tree? So here I'm going to draw a couple that they drew. Here, here are my vertices. Right here. I'm just going to set them up. Here and here and here and here. And then my lines. I'm going to do my best to do this quick. Vertex. There's my lines, my edges. Right? I should have put these lines first now that I think about it. And the next one we have these lines here. Now we'll compare these two. And let me get a bigger pen stroke actually. Actually. Dot vertex vertex at these points. Oops. Vertex, vertex, vertex. Alright. Now we've got two here. And one of these is a tree, and one of them is not. And let's 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 analyze that. So again, what we're looking for is in in the in the vertex edge graph that we built. Is there any way, right, to find a simple circuit? And and that means a circuit is again you start at a at a vertex and you end up back at this vertex. So in this graph right here, if I chose this point, I I could create a simple circuit. I can get back to it without crossing an edge more than once. So this has a simple circuit. Right, a simple circuit, so it's not a tree. 
That's not what a tree is. In this case over here, it doesn't matter what point I start at, right? This dot right here, if I want to get back to it, I've got to at least cross an edge and then come back over it. There's no way to get back to this edge, to get back to this dot, without crossing an edge. And in fact, there's nowhere on this graph that you can do that. There's no simple circuits. If I start at any vertex and I want to get back to it, I've got to cross an edge at least twice, right? So this is a tree. We'll look at two more examples, and then we'll talk about Hamiltonian vertex edge graphs. So what if I have this, right? This line and this line, almost it's a, it's like a square. It could be tilted. And then we have our vertices, draw that in pink. One here, 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 and here. And then what if I had another one more one more vertex edge graph? These two lines here. Okay. And again, what we're looking for is is there anywhere on on these graphs where there's a simple circuit? Or is it a tree? Are there no simple circuits? So let's look at that. Well, uh, on the left, let's pick a point here. Oops, that's, that's too large of a pen stroke. All right, if I look, start at this point right here, and I go along, can I get back to it without crossing an edge twice? The answer is yes. So because that there's at least one simple circuit in this vertex edge graph, this is not a tree. And what about the one on the right? Same thing. I mean, if I start here, different color, if I start here, and I want to get back to it, I can just go along this path without crossing any edges twice. So it has a simple circuit, and this is also not a tree because it contains at least one simple circuit. So it's not a tree. Now, the other, they, they could, I mean, they could ask us anything about graph theory, I guess. Um, it's really off all fair game because a lot of their topics are so broad. But the last thing we could talk about is what a, a Hamiltonian circuit, a Hamilton circuit is, sorry. So Hamilton. And actually, and, and I do want to look further into this for other videos, but, but what we can say here for a Hamilton circuit, it's a, or, or a Hamilton path, sorry, Hamilton path. What you could say is it's a, it's a vertex edge graph uh, that uses each vertice exactly once that uses each vertice. Verti is that right? Vertex. Let's say vertex. That makes more sense. Vertex exactly once. And this, I think, goes back to some pretty famous problems that I think it's called the Konigsberg bridge problem. They're, they're just the idea is that you you can design these paths where you have to cross a vertex twice. There's no way to get Get, get on all the edges or get all around your, your graph without crossing a vertex twice. And there are other paths, other circuits, where you can just go around and cross each, each vertex once. So we'll look at two quick examples that I got from a, a colleague of mine to think about this. This shape right here, and it's, you know, it's extremely sh simple. It's a vertex edge graph. I'm just going to draw it, draw it, draw it, okay. Set it up. Let's take a big letter C. And then we have our, our vertices. Put them in red. Switch back to pen. Here, here, here. Right? So I'll look at all these vert vertices, these, the vertexes. Um, if, if we start anywhere on this graph, in any vertex, and they want to walk around it, um, you can, you can get all around this graph with only e using each vertex exactly once. And that's that. That's a, that's a Hamilton circuit. And let me just undo that so we can still see it. And if I draw over here a different type of path, this time it's going to look like um, a hexagon with another hexagon inside. Draw that right. That's it. One, two, three, four, yeah, with a hexagon. And then with another one inside, a smaller hexagon. And then we connect these. Okay, and then I put in, I'm going to use green. Put in my vertices. 
in this in this uh, vertex edge graph, it is not possible to start at a vertex and travel around without using a vertice more than once. So for example, if I went this way here, up, over, well, now if I want to use this edge down here, I've got to cross that vertice again. So there's no way, I cross that vertice twice, there's no way of getting around this graph without crossing that vertice at least uh, twice. Now, now how, do you, how can you identify these things? Well, you could spend your time looking to see if there's a way to get around it, or you can just count. Right? There's a nice way to count. If you look at the amount of edges on each vertice in this, in this graph, every vertice is connected to two edges. Therefore, it's a Hamilton, Hamilton circuit. What about this graph right here? Well, look at this vertice. It's connected to three edges. But look at this vertice. It's connected to two edges. So since this vertice right here has two edges on it, and this one has three, they have different numbers of edges on it, it is not a Hamilton circuit. And that's interesting to me that, that such an interesting, such a complicated idea, I think, it's complicated to me at least, where you can't get around without crossing a location, uh, or you can get around only crossing one location one time, depending on what situation you're in, can be simply determined by counting if every vertice has the same number of edges attached to it. So for a Hamilton circuit, all you have to do is look at each vertice and count. Does every vertice have the same number of edges? If the answer is yes, it is a Hamilton circuit. If it does not, it is not a Hamilton circuit. And I think we'll get a little bit more into why that makes sense into other videos, but not so much for this practice test prep. All right, hope that helps.